Hi everyone, this is Marjorie Wildcraft again, and uh, today I'm out outside of um, Wimberley, Texas with John Fry of the Garden Tower Project, and I'm real excited we're going to be, I'm going to be picking up a couple of these to experiment and play with, but I just love the concept of the Garden Tower. And John, do you want to maybe explain a little bit to people what this is about? The Garden Tower is a small footprint, convenient water conservation planting device that incorporates a worm composting tube so that you can right in the center continually there. enrich the soil. The worms go in the tube, you feed your kitchen scraps in there, and then they come out the holes in the side of the tube and do all their great worm stuff in the soil. And you can plant from seed or plant starts. As you can see behind us, you can plant herbs, flowers, vegetables. You've got a, got a whole system there. So we're going to fill this up with soil. Fill this we'll, up with soil. Then we'll, yep. we'll get a little compost going in here and put some worms in here. And then the worms basically feed off the compost and then also live in the soil. And, and, and it's a, just sort of a, a simple natural fertility system. Now you just water this once a day, mostly from the top. Yes, water it once a day from the top. You can also Let's see, if we can see on the bottom that you have drainage holes. So you really can't overwater it. You put a bucket under there and catch the rich leachate that comes out and then pour it back in. And there's also a tube down there so you can clean out the, the center tube when you need to. And that would be yeah. a once in a six month type project. Six months to a year harvest the worms and their castings. The worms multiply in four to six months and they leave behind a very rich, uh, massive organic material. <laughs> that you're gonna get to use either okay. in other parts of the garden because this soil is gonna continually stay enriched from this whole exactly. system. Exactly. I love the simplicity. Now one of the first things I bet people are gonna ask about, well, sunlight, you know, uh, mm -hmm. so what are the options for maybe some of the ones on the back getting, getting what they need? You know, I have done, I have a garden tower that I planted all in spinach. And one side, they were a little weaker because they weren't getting as much sunlight. I took a mylar uh, blanket, one of those emergency blankets that you can buy for a dollar, and I put it on cardboard, and I put it about this far away, and the reflection brought these guys to the same as the front. In no time at all. Yeah. Uh, yeah, bad, or put it on some casters and spin it around every now and then? That's possible. I've done a couple of caster uh -huh. jobs. A uh -huh. uh, little tricky. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is a really neat system, and uh, we're going to have this up and running. And as soon as I get mine planted, I'll be posting updates on how it's working out. Um, I, I just love it because the composting and the fertilizing, it's all right there in a pretty compact and easy way to go. You can put these on decks, on patios. Uh, mm -hmm. And the place where people can get more information or pick up one of these if they want to work with it also is uh, Garden Tower Project. GardenTowerProject.com. Awesome. Thanks so much, John. You're welcome. Thank you, Marjorie.